Hey, Tiffany, Matt Gerstner or Gertie uh, here. Just wanted you to be able to put a name with the face, let you know who you've been talking with and dealing with on the phone. Hey, also, I wanted to introduce you to your new car. Uh, as you can see, I do have a white Hyundai Sonata GLS pulled up here. Yeah, this is going to be not the entry level. This is actually going to give you the popular equipment package, which will be the alloy wheels, uh, wheel at fog lights, heated seats, uh, steering wheel mounted audio controls, Bluetooth hands-free calling, you know, a lot of the nicer features. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and shoot you over video of this car just so you could see the car that I think I can make uh, fit the budget, uh, get you right at that $300 a month range, if not a little bit cheaper. As you can see, it is a very stylish car. In fact, I can tell you I personally own a white Hyundai Sonata as well. The only thing that this one is lacking is having the windows tinted, which I could probably have done for you by the time you would get here tomorrow. As you can see on the door, you do have power windows, power locks, power mirrors. You also do have a power seat on the driver's side. Uh, it does make it nice to where it's not you know, just a base car. You were wanting to see the interior. I figured this would be the easiest way for me to be able to show you the interior. This is the beige interior, which is the only color the white uh, does come with. As you can see, it does make it extremely classy and it does give you that rich feel. As I come in to set in the car, I'm going to show you what you'd be looking at every day as far as driving it. On the left here, you do have a couple controls. Uh, this one is your, will actually brighten and dim the lights on your dash. This is your active ecosystem. What that active ecosystem will do is it'll actually, the car will read you, how you drive it to help your shifting points to help you get up to 8% better fuel economy. Um, so this car is actually rated at 35 on the road without it. With it, you should expect a little bit better. This is going to be your electronic stability control, uh, which what that is designed to do is there's actually a sensor in all four of your tires. It is, it is designed to make sure all four tires are always going the same speed. So say you hit a, say you hit a soft spot of sand in the road. And, you know, the one tire that hits that soft spot of sand, it's going to cause that tire to slow down, which will cause you to lose control of, of the vehicle because that tire is not going the same speed as the other three. Well, it's those sensors' job to automatically detect which tire is not going the same speed and either slow the other three down or speed the other one up. Um, as you can see, the car does have automatic headlights, uh, so you don't ever have to worry about turning those on or off. You do have steering wheel mounted audio controls, Bluetooth hands-free calling, which I'll show you how that works here in just a second. You also do have steering wheel mounted uh, cruise control with the trip computer as well, which will allow you uh, to actually keep track of your average mile per gallon, your average mile per hour. Um, your average, you know, your trip A, your trip B, so all that fun stuff. So as I start the car up here, I'll show you how a couple of these features actually work. So with the lights being on, you can actually see that this is actually lit up. So it's a nice blue background here. Um, so it's not plain. Now I actually do not have my Bluetooth <coughs> sunk up to this car, but I'm going to explain to you how it works. So let's say you're driving down the road and your favorite car guy in the world calls you to check in on you to see how everything's going. You may have him saved in your phone as Matt Gerstner or Gertie as some people refer to me as. Well, what happens is when I call you, your radio fits on, it'll cut the screen off and it'll actually show my name on your radio screen. However, you have me saved, it, saved in your phone. From there, all you have to do is press this middle button here and by pressing that, it'll actually allow you just to have your conversation over the phone or you know over the speaker system while you are driving, so you don't have to actually have your phone up to your head. Um, if whoever is calling you is not saved as a contact in your phone, it'll just show you the phone number of the person you're calling. Now, if you don't save me in your phone and I'm calling you to check in on you and you really do not want to talk to me you can hit this bottom button here and that's going to reject the phone call just like you're hitting end on your cell phone sending it straight to voicemail. Couple of the nice other features, you know, if you do have an iPhone, um, you know, you can download, uh, if you have an iTunes account, you can listen to all your, your Pandora music, your iTunes accounts straight through the sound system. 
but you also do have a USB iPod auxiliary input jack. As if, if you do have an iPod or anything like that, you are able to listen to that straight through the sound system as well. Now this does have an AM, FM, XM satellite radio with a single disc CD player. Um, you can see everything is very well labeled and, and easy to work. You know, your, your time, your temperature, all that fun stuff is up here. Uh, this one actually has a Blue Link Home Link auto dimming mirror, so your compass is going to be in the mirror. This also has a system like OnStar, which it may be a little too dark in here and you can't see it, um, as well as a home link system so you can actually program garage door openers in here so you don't have to carry your garage door opener in the car. One nice thing that this vehicle has is it has heated seats in the front. What that's going to do, even though it's cloth interior, is it's going to make sure you're always warm. Uh, I know being out in western Kansas, it's usually a little colder and a little more snow out there than here in Wichita. That'll definitely be a nice feature for you when it does get below that 20, you know, 30, 20, 15 degree weather. Um, as you can see, like I said, this is your beige interior. You know, doors, they, they are two-toned, uh, very nicely designed. Uh, power windows and power locks are on both of your front doors as well. Your mirrors, you can see when you fold them down. You know, you do have your regular mirror. Also, your light to be able to see is on the ceiling, so that's just a matter of turning that on or off to, to give you better visibility. Your sun visors do have extensioners on them while you are driving. So you can see you are able to actually pull that over, you know, to keep the sun out of your eyes. Um, also, to block if you don't want to see what's behind you when driving, you can extend it over like that, which I do not advise. Of course, you do have your sunglass holder up top here. Um, that's going to be a lot of the small stuff on the Hyundai. This trip computer that I was telling you about, so I can flip through here, there's trip A, and I'll reset that out. Trip B, you know, distance till empty, so that, that will let you know when you need to fill up with, with uh, fuel. That's your average mile per gallon, so right now this car is averaging 36.5 miles to the gallon. This car was dealer traded to us from Dodge City, so that road trip, I'm going to guess they were somewhere around the 37 mile to the gallon range. That's your instant fuel economy, your average mile per hour, elapsed time, so you can reset this. So when you're driving back home to Cimarron tomorrow, you can set the timer when you leave here. When you get home, if you stop it, it'll let you know how long it actually took you on your trip. Uh, so once again, those are just a couple, couple small nice features as well. Um, I do want to show you a couple other things. The fuel door release and the the fuel and trunk release, you can unlock the trunk from your key fob. Also, there is a button on the left side bottom of your steering wheel. This car does have stadium seating in the back. So with having the kids in the back, you know, those seats are going to set up a little bit higher uh, to help give everybody a little better visibility. One nice thing is the seats in the back will fold down. That is at a 60-40 split. So if you do need to haul any larger items, you can you can actually slide them in and and uh, you know fit plenty of luggage in here, plenty of golf clubs, whatever you choose to do. So it does have a very large trunk as well. Uh, once again, this is the 2013 Hyundai Sonata GLS. This is a car I think I can make work in that 300 to right below 300 range on a five-year note at the 2.9%. Uh, let me know if you think this is the car that you that will work for you. Um, like I said, about all it's missing is the having the windows tinted, uh, which we'll be more than happy to do for you. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.